how to control the lights, where to mount the lights, and kind of what lights to use. I ended up going with the SpeedTech uh, Z4 Linear Cree, Cree lights, and uh, these linear because it spreads the light a little bit better, and really the SpeedTech because they had the ability to do a steady override, um, very uh, waterproof, uh, had a high low. I thought that that was going to be important for me. Later on, I found out I can run them high. It's not a big deal. So uh, very good light, looked professional, so I figured I'd go with it. But where to mount the darn things? Hey, originally I thought underneath the top case or hey, saddlebags, possibly. Uh, none of those worked out. Uh, I decided I was going to mount it as high up as possible on the top case itself. So then uh, it was how do I do that? So I scribed a piece of 2x2 two two and broke it down, marked it, cut it up, made it to size, the width of the lights, uh, 1.1 inches. Uh, so that's pretty much what you see right there. Um, then I needed a timer circuit, so I built it on a project board. Here's the uh, finished timing circuit, and that provides a steady override or steady burn override. And uh, the, when you touch the yellows with, or touch the greens, which this does, you're looking at less than 10 milliamps uh, of current. So I didn't need to actually add another uh, relay. This is the auxiliary power coming in. Auxiliary power is the only thing that drives the lights. The brake lights I've tied into, brake lights tie to the relay of that circuit, and that passes, um, whether it passes or not, um, the power auxiliary power. This is the actual adjustment for amount of time. Uh, about four turns is maybe a second, maybe less than a second. Those are all components. Um, built those, all breadboard tested, good solution. Um, then I moved on to the, you know, what switches to use. Uh, I needed one for power. What is my power? I wanted one for uh, steady on. And then just the pattern selection, uh, and high, low, and sync. So, and then a resync, which is the green button, which is actually equivalent to the white wire. Uh, everything is designed around a modular plug. So if I need to take the top case off or the liner out, I can do that and not have it dangling and hanging. And so how do I build the mounts? Uh, I decided with a silicone one. Um, you can watch this video here from YouTube, The King of Random. Uh, worked out well for me. Uh, you can see as I made uh, multiple attempts at it, but I ended up finally getting it good. Uh, coloring, food coloring just wasn't quite right for me. Um, the cornstarch kind of bleed through. I eventually ended up with going with a actual paint, uh, and that worked well. Um, so then once I realized that I could do those things, I went ahead and ordered all my switches, ordered my uh, additional hookup wire, got me some silicone, went and got some paint, some uh, acrylic paint at the local arts and crafts, ended up going with a metallic black. So you'll see that in a little bit what metallic black looks like. When I popped this out, I realized that I did have room for switches. I built a template up to where I wanted to drill the switches to make sure that one, I had enough room, and two, it looked somewhat professional. And I went ahead and mounted the switch. It just wasn't, you know, eyeballing it and drilling the holes across. But for the most part, they came out well. And you can see there's the, the circuit board mounted right behind the back, gave me enough room for all the wires. And that also is connected so I can actually remove the timer board and redo, do some work on that if I needed to, and then put it back in. And you see, here's the pictures of the switches on the side. And so overall, I think it, it turned out well. These, these are the switches, three position switch. I uh, really needed two position for the uh, yellow and the blue, but I went ahead and just ordered the same thing. Um, so I used a little bit more. So you can see here is the silicone in the final stage. Uh, when I put it in the mold, I use a release agent, which is just uh, like a Vaseline. It was a Vaseline for uh, skin. Um, so it wasn't truly Vaseline, but you can see it rounds the corners a little bit when it fills in there. So it, it worked out well and the uh, silicone came out of it very easy. Going to go over the switches and why I use the switches and the push buttons I did. Power, it's, everything is in the forward position. This power is in the forward that's going to be operated with the brake lights. I have the center to turn off in the event that uh, the local establishment, uh, law enforcement, do not want, like these uh, additional brake lights, I can turn these off, or if I choose just not to run them, I'll leave them off. The other mode is on. And those are going to become on only in the event that uh, the accessories are on. The key is off, these lights will never come on. Okay, 
So now I have the yellow and the blue. Yellow with the black. Yellow only um, is going to be when they're in sync mode. And I push the button and that will change the pattern. Okay. If I need to go back um, and go back and resync these at any time, you break the yellow, which is this switch. I push the, the green, which is equivalent to the white in the programming, for two seconds. And then it goes back into my alternating mode. Normally run those in the fourth position. Um, the other option would be is now that I've got this, uh, we'll go back solid so you can see them. The blue one changes the brightness to dim and that is bright. So if I wanted to go, um, for some reason they fell out of, or I had to replace a light, or they fell out of sync mode and even uh, pressing the green button for two seconds, couldn't get them back in, I would go to the blue mode, uh, change to blue, and then I would uh, then push this one to go into group A programming, push the second one, there's group A, now it goes to group B, that's for five seconds, turn the power off, turn the power back on, and now they're synchronizing. Um, the nice feature is, is I did allow me to break the yellows, so if I wanted a different pattern on this versus, let's say I wanted, oops, didn't have that over there, let's say I wanted that, uh, so I have it on this pattern, and this one's solid. So I could do that one. Um, it's not that difficult to go back. These are uh, disconnected. So I'm going to go ahead and push the green button, which is equivalent to the white wire. Push that. Two seconds. Now they're back in alternating mode. Push everything. These two lower switches to the forward position. Now I can change the brightness of both of them, and I can change the pattern. There's bright. Okay. I can turn this off. Now it's off and it won't uh, operate. Forward is brake light only mode. Okay, that's about it. Uh, good luck with your project if you choose to do something like this.